Hey, what's up guys? In this video I'm gonna show you all the fuses and relays on this Mini Cooper S from 2011. The location of fuses and relays, it might be similar, if not identical, with many BMWs from the same generation, like between 2009 and 2014 models. In the engine compartment, we've got a small fuse box on the driver's side and a couple of relays. Also, on the driver's side, if you have a look down here, you're gonna find a plastic cover, just open it up and you're gonna find a bunch of more fuses. And on the back of the cover you're gonna find the fuse symbols, which I'm gonna tell you one by one what they do and what they protect. So I'm gonna start with the fuses and relays from the engine bay and I'm going to look from this side, from the driver's side. Alright, so let's start with fuse number one, it is for the computer, ACU, this one on the side. Fuse number two for ignition coil, fuel injection valves or crankshaft position sensor. Camshaft position sensors, oxygen sensors, both of them and evaporative system solenoid by the fuel tank. The tank leakage diagnose pump, which is basically a part of the evaporative control system. Fuse number five is for the engine cooling electric fan. Fuse number six is for the ABS module. Number seven is for the air conditioned compressor clutch. Number 8 is for electric power steering or the fan switch and air condition blower. Fuse number 9 is for the wiper motor for the fast and slow control and the switch on and off. And fuse number 10 is for the fog lights, which makes sense because it's next to the fog light relay. These two black relays are basically for the speed of the wiper motor, both back and the front. Then on this car you're gonna find a 40 amps fuse for the ABS system again. This one is for the rear screen defroster. Since this engine has a direct injection system, the first relay down here is for the high pressure fuel pump. You can see the diagram of it and you've got pin number 30 and pin number 87. You've got two pins 87. However, since this relay is taken from a, a BMW, as you can see, we've got the BMW logo on it. The middle pin is basically bypassed, there is a big hole in here, it means this second 87 pin is not connected to anything. You can see the numbers, we've got 87 and 87, so only this pin right here is active, this one is dead basically. So basically if you jump this pin and this one, the high pressure fuel pump should be activated. So now the question is how you can find out which one is pin 87 and 30, so you can place the relay a little bit like that and then take it out and see 3087 it means these two holes i'm gonna put the microphone by the pump and you can hear it right now the next relay is for the computer you will not hear anything by jumping the pins go ahead to the next relay which is for the radiator fan right and finally, we've got the relay for the heater core blower. With that being said, we are finished with this fuse box. For the fuse box inside the cabin, we've got fuse number two for the headlight washer pump. Fuse number three is for the hanger connector or trailer mode. Fuse number four is for power windows. Number five is missing, but it's for navigation or radio unit, if you have something like that. Fuse number six is for the sunroof or convertible roof, depending on what you have. Fuse number 7 is again for the trailer mode. Fuse number 8 is for power windows driver side. Fuse number 9 is for power windows passenger side. The last fuse down there is again for power windows on the passenger side. Fuse 11 is for the central locking unit. Is that blue fuse, litten fuse like this one is down there behind the wires. Fuse number 12 is for telephone. That's what it says. Fuse number 13 is for the heads up display. Fuse 14 is for CD changer, fuse 15 is for the gearbox, it's probably the manual option of the gearbox, the automatic gearbox. Fuse 16 is for reading lamps, fuse 17 is for the DSC steering, fuse 18 is for the ABS, fuse 19 is for the tire pressure sensors, fuse 20 is for the heating and air condition control system, fuse 21 behind the wires here is for the central locking again. Fuse 22 is for the electronic rear view mirror. Fuse 23 is for the infotainment system. Fuse 24 is for the AC control unit. 
Fuse 25 is for the front wiper motor. Fuse 26 is for the anti-theft system. Fuse 27 is for the alarm and sirene. Fuse 28 is for the anti-theft and immobilizer. And Fuse 29 is for the OBD2 port, the one where you connect your scan tool. Fuse number 30 is missing in my situation, but is for rear wiper relay. Fuse 31 is for the fuel heater or glow plugs. Fuse 32 is for the parking sensors. Fuse 33 is for the automatic air condition. This car doesn't have that option, so if one of these fuses are missing in your situation, it might mean that you don't have that option. Fuse number 34 is for the comfort module. I'm not sure what that means. It can mean a lot of things. Fuse number 35 is dynamic stability control. Fuse number 36 is for the start and stop button. For fuse number 37, I have no information about it and there is no sign on it here. If some of you guys know about this fuse, you might want to help others by writing it down below in the comments. Fuse number 38 is for navigation. This car doesn't have such thing. Fuse number 39 is for the USB connections. Fuse number 51 down here is for the start and stop function again. Fuse number 52 and 53 are both for headlights. Then we go on top here and we've got the rear defroster function. Then we've got 41 and 42 are for the heated seats. 43 is for the trailer module. 44 is for the cigarette lighter and glove box light. 45 is for the infotainment system. That can be a bunch of things. Fuse number 46 is for the fuel level system. Fuse 47 is for the horn. Fuse 48 is for the cooling fan. Fuse 49 is for the radio. And the last fuse is for the rear wiper motor. Finally, there is a big relay here. There is no wiring or information diagram about this one. It might be for the first fuel pump inside the fuel tank. All right, so that was pretty much it. I hope you find this video useful. If so, give it a thumbs up. Check out the other videos I made about this Mini Cooper. There is going to be a link in the description below with a playlist with all the videos I made about this car. And until next time, drive safe so I can see you soon.